one of the things I learned during this last two years, because I was doing a lot of like virtual happy hours and classes, is that sometimes all you have to do is like very briefly explain these things to guests, and they are amazed by it. So like these little pet peeves that we're talking about are like the big no-nos from guests. The second you say it, they're just like, I would have never known. And I'm like, well, that's a problem right there, because <laughs> some of this is very obvious stuff. Yeah. Like, don't put your, like, squeezed lime on, like, the countertop or, like... Your gum on the uh, countertop. Don't touch my gutters. Oh, my God, don't touch my gutters. We're like, my like yeah, like, I don't know, don't, don't touch, touch my garnishes. Don't touch my garnishes. Don't use slurs. Yeah. I don't know. The like, olives aren't there for you to help yourself. Yeah, right. it's not a, a buffet. It's not a buffet for you. Oh, wow. A Those huge part of HBIC, or, like, this whole kind of concept really is, though, to, like, in a very relatable, direct way, be like, this is how you can enjoy being a guest even more. You're going to make your bartenders even happier. And you're going to also, like, understand drinks better. The idea of, like, sweetness to me, you're right. Like, dessert's sweet, and it's not, you just don't drink d sweet cocktails often. That's the thing I think people want to get away from is, like, having four sweet cocktails in a row. So it's just about, like, understanding what that means to them. And the context is everything point is to me, like, what guests are really trying to find out. Yeah. Well, I totally. also do feel like there's two things that, like, I always have to keep in mind is that, A, everyone that walks in my bar wants to be told what to do. Like, they want to be <laughs> yeah. told, like, they, they don't want to look at a menu and, like, have to, like, True. make decisions. They want to, like, walk in and be like, wow me, and which is fine. Like, we will. Whatever works. And then also, too, the second thing is, is that, like, Sometimes I get caught up in being like, how could you not know that? <laughs> you know, like, how could you not understand, like, the dynamics of a cocktail bar? When that's not that's not realistic. Sure. People oh, don't totally. have the knowledge that we do. So Absolutely. you have to, like, temper our expectations. It's like me going to a group. I don't understand <laughs> what's happening around me, and I shouldn't be expected to. Exactly. <laughs> and, but, yeah, you have to take everything with a grain of salt and, like, also, like, be accommodating still. So. But, yeah, but it's yeah. that, like, that ego death of, like, that subtraction of, like, just, like, talk to them like they don't know anything because they, they don't. probably and, don't, like, yeah. that's <laughs> why they're coming here is so that they can have an experience experience and and be told like what's good what to yeah do. but in, <laughs> what's good in, what's good on the menu? right yeah, in fairness, fairness to yeah. us like at that point like it should be participatory on both sides yeah. like we are just as much a part of their experience as they are you know what i mean so I we really know. came a full circle because I thought the editors were just going to string together all the like, yeah, and this guest motherfucking mother. <laughs> no, 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 it's like, God, these bartenders are angry. <laughs> <laughs> get it. <laughs> oh, they're watching this. They're like, screw you guys. We're not going to find any of you at your bars. Which transitions to best guest experience or memorable, like positive guest experiences. <laughs> we don't have any. Yeah, have <laughs> the shortest segment. Right. Mm, those ones stick out less in my mind. I will say I was a server at an Italian restaurant in Champaign, Illinois called Biagi's. And um, there was uh, an older couple there that were my regulars as a server while well, I was a server there. And uh, they just kept in touch with me over the years. And then after I graduated college, like whenever I was in Champaign, if I was visiting for um, whatever reason to go back and question why I got a degree in acting, um, they would always invite me over for dinner or like take me out to Biagi's as like a nostalgic thing for them. Because for them, that was like their spot. Once a week they got to do that and I was a part of that experience for them. And that, like, it's one of those cheesy things, but it reminds you kind of why you all do it. It's you're like, oh, it's sweet, and it's a, these moments are impactful to a lot of people, and I think of them a lot, and they're like just the sweetest couple, and um, they've like considered me their like fifth son, which is uh, stressful because <laughs> my parents don't even give me that <laughs> courtesy. <laughs> they're like, you're a distant cousin <laughs> at best. <laughs> do you think that? Um like the kind of place, like those kind of smaller, more intimate, more privately owned, family run, you know, neighborhood establishments offer you uh, a higher opportunity to have those kind of guest connections, to have those kind of repeat more, I don't know, in, integral? I don't know if that's the word, but like in, yeah. integral kind of like interactions with people. Like more intimate? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I agree. I feel like the three, I, yeah, you, Ed and I all work together at a rooftop bar. And I feel like that place did not cater to that type of experience. Like, not because that was a, a, a bad thing, but that's just what that space was. It was high volume, it's turn and burn, it's like you're, you're in and you're out, you take your photos, you leave. And it's not, it's not to get to know the bartenders or the servers or the people that work there. But at the, the French spot that you and I worked at, I felt like that was a huge part of it. I think that's actually why that restaurant does well, is because 
the regulars there, the guests there, it is, they are so loyal to it. And they're loyal to the energy in the room. They're loyal to the people that work there. And like people want to have that experience with a bartender or a hospitality person. They want to feel like yeah. their bartender sees them and really gets them. And they want to feel cool in that moment. Like we really like want to give that to them. And some spaces offer us the opportunity to do that and like really mean it. And some spaces are just like, I'm sorry, the music's too loud in here and I just can't give you the capacity for that right now. <laughs>